how narcissists move on so quickly. When the narcissist first targeted you, you were their new supply. They were still involved with their ex. They were still in contact with them. But they targeted you because things didn't go right for them. And they were looking for an opportunity. They were looking for a better deal. Because they don't value what they've been building with someone else. If they think someone else is a better deal, they're not going to be loyal to anyone. When they think they found someone better, they're prepared to discard whoever they're dealing with. Because a new person is always going to be better than the person they've been building with. It doesn't matter how much time, energy or money you've invested in them. It doesn't matter about all of the struggles and hardship you went through. That doesn't mean anything to the narcissist. And that's how they can move on so quickly. Because they have no permanent home. They're just trying to survive. They're just trying to get what they can from people. And then move on to something else. Which is why they showed no pity or compassion for you. They didn't care about what you were going through. All they cared about was obtaining something that was new and beneficial for them. They had no consideration for you. Because they never wanted a relationship anyway. They just use relationships, marriage and children to imprison their targets. To lock them down. Because if they're still using you, they don't want you to go anywhere. So they will put on an act like they're really invested in you. Like you mean something to them. They will do anything to prove to you that they're really about it. They may even marry you just to catch you off guard. And it gives them an advantage. They can act without restraint and discipline. Because now you can't go anywhere. You're stuck. And they're not emotionally invested in you. So they don't care about how it's affecting you. But when you start to catch on. When you figure out what they're doing, that's when they disappear. As long as you believe that they're trying to build with you, they will stick around. But they will still be looking for someone else to replace you, because they know that at some point you're going to figure them out. You're going to realise that they're not really serious about you, they're not really invested in you. Even though they may have married you and had children with you. They only did that to gain your trust. To strengthen their position with you. And at that point you're too involved to easily extract yourself or make reasonable decisions. But the narcissist doesn't care about anything. Because they came into it with an objective. They're not influenced by their emotions because they have an alternative course of action for when things don't work out with you. So if you're married to them, 
they will get a divorce and file for alimony if you've had children with them they will collect child support so whatever happens they're going to do well and be successful they will get something out of it even if things go wrong so they can move on very quickly because there's no consequences for them leaving they don't have to worry about anything because they were just using you they were being fake it's like their car was running out of fuel so they pulled over at the nearest fuel station to top it up to get them to their destination but they don't really have a destination they're constantly moving from person to person so at some point they move on and you're left in a state of shock and confusion after everything you went through because you thought they were building with you you thought they were yours but it was just your turn you were just a part of a cycle and it's a cycle that never ends because they're addicted to people and they always need something new but you shouldn't take it personally they might have moved on quickly but it has nothing to do with you as a person it's a problem that they have a problem that they cannot control they never even took the time to get to know you they were always distracted by other things they were always on their phone and looking at other people's lives they were never fully invested in you narcissists get bored very quickly they can't be involved in something for too long that's why they were always flirting with other people and then they move on to someone else and they think they found the one they think they found their soulmate they think they're in love again because it's given them a thrill it's given them intense excitement and stimulation which will always be more powerful than the person they were already with so it's easy for them to move on because they're getting fuel from this new person which they're no longer getting from you because you're starting to figure them out so you're responding to them differently so they will get rid of you quickly and they will treat you like you never existed until they get bored of their new supply and then they will find someone else or they will come back to you but they will always move on because they always need something new and exciting they have these insatiable desires that can never be fulfilled and you will never be able to change that you can't perform at a high level for such a long period of time with someone who's given you nothing back in return they're taken but they're not building you up so you can never win it was inevitable that you would be replaced it doesn't matter who you are or who they've moved on to the cycle will never end 
it has nothing to do with you. It's their problem which they can't control. They have an inability to resist their impulses, desires and temptations. They cannot control their desire for immediate gratification. They act without thinking. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coach the inquiries. You can email me at coaching.narcsurvivor.co.uk Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.